Hello customers and welcome to today's video. My name is Jesse, Perth marriage celebrant and MC. Today I'm down here at Car Place along Leach Highway in Melville and I'm running you through a 2019 Toyota Land Cruiser. Guys, before we take a step forward, I need to tell you, all the sales guys here at this yard are losing their absolute mind over this car. Apparently, this is the best of the best when it comes to these Toyota Land Cruisers. The amount of features that are installed on this car. There we are. I'm going to hold that up for you guys. Go ahead and pause the video and read through that. I'm going to be honest with you. If you're watching this video and you're interested in buying a Land Cruiser, you're going to know a lot more about this car than I currently do. So pause that, read through those features, and in this video I'm going to do a walk around and just and just showcase to you this magnificent beast. This is the ultimate of all ultimate adventure vehicles. Come a little bit closer and let's begin this tour. I'll start off by listing um, probably not some key features, but absolutely some important features about this car. Comes with two airbags, of course it's got cruise control, power steering, power windows, Bluetooth and USB connectivity. Now, like wish me luck guys, seriously. I'm gonna leave this piece of paper on, on the top here and just I'm just gonna go for it, okay? First up, this is a highly sought after sand slash beige color. Highly sought after. Check out the hood scoop, guys, providing heaps of ventilation for your engine. Next up, look at this antenna. That is going to enable you to speak to the aliens on freaking Mars. It's that big, all right? Notice it's connected to this giant freaking bull bar. I would not want to be pushing a trolley through a car park and have this bump into me, that's for sure. Check out your big spotlights here. That You can change the angle of these as well. I can notice that you've got a swivel there. You got more spotlights to the side here, fog lights. Look, 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 it's just insane, all right? Now this thing is called a TJM, it's the TJM brand. I know that's good. Finance, you, <laughs> you're probably gonna have to finance this anyway. It's, this is gonna be up there, guys, I'm telling you. It's up there. Now, taking you down the right hand, sorry, the left hand side, I always get confused there. Notice that the bull bar continues around the side here and becomes a part of the side step up plate, okay? That's gonna provide you with heaps of protection. Now this, this is a three inch lift, this wheel. Check out that wheel, that's freaking huge. And look at the inside features there. Check out that spring, that coil. There's, um, well, we were reading it before. Comprod's radius arms, Dobinson coils, parabolic springs. Like I said before, guys, you're probably gonna see a lot more features here than I can even describe to you. you, you I know you're looking at the wheel locks right there as well. Time now to take you down further. And this is what I notice: a chrome badge, a chrome badge, chrome handlebars for the front and back. Uh, doors. You know what else I noticed? I noticed a freaking weather shield, okay? Crack the windows, get some oxygen flow as you're driving along, drive along in the rain as well, get some oxygen going through. Okay, there's also a tint that's been applied and a darker tint along the back. That's going to provide you with a lot of privacy to any valuables you might happen to have in the back seat. Notice the chrome finish along the top perimeter of your windows. Notice the Roof rack, it's a Rhino roof rack. I know that's a fantastic brand. What more can I tell you? Moving on down. Time now to go through this, tr this uh, back left hand wheel. And look at that, look at that Fox branded, what is that? That's either the uh, adjustable remote reservoir or it's the steering dampener. If you don't know what that is guys, jump on Google and uh, try and figure it out. We're getting our camera in there so you can see just what is packed onto this bad boy. How about the rims though? I don't even know if you could even call that a rim. It's not much of a rim, but it's, it's so unique. It's so, it just provides so much attitude and character. Look at your mud guards as well. It's gonna protect all the, you know, $50,000 worth of upgrades it's had in there. Okay, taking you around the back. Now to undo the tray, look, it's just as simple as twisting those handles and dropping it down. You got your brake lights to the left and right hand side. Here you got some more spotlights. You got this that's gonna shine onto your, what are, your number plate. Trailer, your, what is it, tow ball thing. 
dual exhaust. Look, look at your spotlights along the top here. This awesome bar. It's freaking huge, guys. I'm six foot one. I can just get my hands over this. This is a real, this is probably the tallest car I've ever done. And I've done over 160 cars at this yard doing these videos. Moving into the tray itself, we've got a rubber mat, okay? If you're casting around cargo that could potentially damage the floor, this rubber mat is gonna absorb all of that. Your spare wheel hooked up there. Look at that guy, it, it may as well be a monster truck wheel. Check out the back windscreen, it's protected by that, that grill, that grate. Let's take you down the right hand side now. Your fuel cap, located just here. Notice your mud guards again, zooming in on that wheel. And when we're ready, let's take you through the back seat. Now quickly just starting on the door, you've got a partial cloth, partial leather interior, electronic windows, and a nice big, what's that? Focal sound system speaker. Now you might be wondering, what the hell's in the boxes, Jesse? And I say, good question. These are the, or the original rims, all right? So if you want to equip them back on, you're more than welcome to. The seat cover, that's an aftermarket seat cover, the wet seat branded seat covers. And I'll also try and pull this forward here. Check that out, guys. The kicker, what's that? Kicker comp 10 inch subwoofer. Let me just double check I got that right. Yep, 10 inch subwoofer. Hell yeah. Okay, that'll do for the back. Let's take you through the front. Now, if the outside wasn't good enough for you, which you'd be crazy to think that, the interior is definitely gonna get you over the edge. So for starters, we've got an armrest that has been installed, okay, aftermarket, one stone armrests. It's got a drink holder. There's all your electronic windows. Your window is automatic. Your door locks, your window locks here. Bit of storage and a nice sound system speaker here. Side airbag installed there as well. Moving up here, uh, I asked the sales guys what these two buttons are and even they don't have any idea. But there's a power button and there's a kangaroo in a diamond. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys know what that is. Of course, idle up, look some sort of other engine feature here and check out this. I can't remember how much this is valued at, but I know it's expensive. This is Red Arc electronic brakes, okay? If you're towing something that weighs two or three tons, like a boat, you need extra assistance with your brakes. And this is already installed on the car, okay? You got zero all the way up to 10. I don't know what that means, zero to 10, but electronic brakes is on here, my friends. Okay, steering wheel, it's not a smart steering wheel, it's just a steering wheel. You, you know, all your, your window stick with your indicator and your window wipers and your cruise control all on there. All right, I'm getting in the car. I even have a handle to help me get in. Everyone needs that to get into this, let me tell you. All right, from the top, you got a carpet dashboard, your air conditioning vents. Check out, that's probably the biggest uh, multimedia screen I've ever seen. I may as well be sitting in a Hoyt's cinema watching the new Justice League movie, all right? All your controls down here, your mute, your volume, your station. Here, air conditioning. Here, storage for coins or durries. Here, light the durry itself, 12 volt power supply. This, no idea. It's some up and down thing. Maybe that's the suspension. No idea. This bat, it even, it even lights up, so it's doing some sort of effect right now, but that says battery link. I might stop touching it in case, whatever. Okay, traction control in wet weather, continuing down. We got, I got no idea what that is. It looks like an ethernet cable for some bizarre reason. Maybe that's to hook up some sort of accessory. Here is another 12 volt. Oh, that's not a 12 volt power supply. That's two USB inputs. Hook your phone up into this system and access all the compatible apps, maps, music streaming. Over here, we have some sort of power button. 
which is turning something on, something off. Perhaps it's the um, uh, the spotlights either on the back or the front of the car. Here is another some sort of red button. No idea what that does. Here is a two-way radio. And judging by all the buttons on there, hell, it might even be a six-way radio. We've got this thing here. Uh, it's, it looks like some sort of remote. If I pull it down, I've got A, B, C, and D as options. So who the hell knows what this thing is? Hopefully you guys do. We've got two drink holders. We've got a manual handbrake. Here, you, this doubles as an armrest and central storage. What's going on here? We got these things. I don't know, are they some musical instrument or something? I'm not quite sure. Oh, there's that Ethernet cord. I told you, I told you that thing there looks like an Ethernet input and that's exactly what it is. Plug that in, plug the other end into something else and Bob's your uncle. What else, lastly in here, this thing. And plenty of room to fit Shit, a six pack in there, I'd say. You can fit so many beers in there. Okay, popping that all away. Oh, okay. Inside here, the, I don't know, are they covers for your sound system thing? Who knows what, it, what this is. You got three USB inputs, and just in case three wasn't enough, oh, no, that joke failed. What is that push? That tells me to push. That, I don't know, that looks like some SD card or some SIM card input there. Maybe you can turn the car into a phone. Maybe, I wouldn't be surprised. Popping, popping that back away. Let's look at some of the service history here. You got the owner's manual in there. Okay, Land Cruiser service history. Let's see if I can cut to the chase pretty quickly. Okay, so it's a 2019 vehicle. We had its first service at 10,000 Ks in October 2019. And then in April 2020, then in November 2020, it's now March 2021, so it's been four months, okay? But it's on track. Okay, popping that back away. Thanks for your patience, lads. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Hope, hopefully you're having a bit of a giggle. Okay, I haven't put them back in there properly, but I'm going to do that later. Up here in the corner, that reads GPS. So that must be some sort of connector to your multimedia system to get your maps up on this screen. In the top right-hand corner is a microphone. That must be, you know, you, you obviously talk into it to be able to... Um, you know, talk on the phone and stuff. Maybe to talk on your two-way radio. Tucked away in, under your sun visor is just some information about the car, pretty, pretty basic stuff, but I did notice that the registration lasts until the 23rd of June, so three months of rego is gonna come with the sale of this car. Holy Jesus, I think we're done. I think we're done for the interior, guys. That's, that's, I'm just gonna leave it there as I exit. Uh, don't forget about the wet seat, seat covers, and along the floor are your rubber floor mats. Rubber floor mats make for cleaning the car so incredibly convenient. You just get the vacuum cleaner, suck it all up, clean car. It's not going to get stuck in the carpet. Now let me reach in here, pop this hood, close that off. Guys, notice the whole time as well. We haven't seen a single scratch, no dent, nothing. This is as close to perfect as you could possibly imagine. You got a snorkel here. Now I know there's not many locations where this might be necessary, but in case it is, it's right there. You guys zoom in on your final tire. Get stuck in there, have a good look at all those features. Holy Jesus, this is the heaviest hood I've ever lifted in my life. God. So be warned of that, my friends. Although, I tell you what, guys, I only weigh 75 kilos, so I'm not the strongest of dudes. You'll probably lift that much easier than me. Now, I'm going to get out of the way. 
I'm, I'm looking on this page of notes here to try and figure out if there's anything in this engine bay I should be mentioning, but I seriously have no idea what I'm looking at. So you as the viewer, I really have my fingers crossed that you notice this engine bay. Like there's some things that stand out to you and that make you go, holy Jesus, this car is insane. I mean, I know nothing about it. And just looking at the reaction from the salesman when this thing first came in tells me enough that it's, 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 pretty, it's a crazy car. Best of the best. Highly sought after. Bob's your uncle type stuff. Okay. Now, bear with me, guys, as I muck around here. Get that in. Oh, oh whew, almost broke my hand then. Holy demon. Guys, we made it. We freaking, we made it out alive. I, me, Jesse, made it through this car. I can't believe it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We hope that you've seen everything, enough to tick all your boxes, guys. We'd love to hear, the guys would love to hear from you. Take this guy for a test drive, guys. Head, take it down Leach Highway and see how you feel. Two things I've got to tell you. Warranty is available upon all the cars here at the yard. Get the warranty. When you buy this car, you will not regret it. Secondly, this car is like a six-figure car. I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be expensive, all right? Finance is available. So rather than dump six figures of your own money on it straight away, just dump three figures a week onto it and pay it off for the rest of your life. Eddie in the finance department just over there is a legend at what he does. He's really good and he'll hook you up. We're done, guys. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Jesse. I'm a Perth marriage celebrant. If you think I'd be suitable for your wedding, your friend's wedding, your family's wedding, tell them to hit me up on Instagram, Jesse B Celebrancy. Thanks so much, my friends. Have a wonderful week, and we'll hear from you soon.